<clears throat> and now, an important message from Mike. Rip it to the snip it to the flip it to the dip it to the rip it to the snip it to the dip it. Yo. I'm a little brain dead right now because I too. just woke up. He woke me up. He was already here. Like, oh boy, I could have used more sleep, but I'm so grateful this is getting done. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. So I'm here with Carrie, my neighbor, and uh, she's got an excavator over here and doing a big project. What are we doing? I am installing what's called earth tubing. So you lay. Um, what I'm laying is PVC pipe into the ground uh, as deep as it can go and yeah. the, the depth that we're going here is about eight feet deep and what that does is the pipe laid into the ground will uh, get the temperature of the ground that deep yeah. and we estimate yeah. it's around 55 to 65 degrees when you go that far down into the ground yeah it's like the effects of a cave when you go into it could be 100 degrees outside when you go down to the cave it's like 55 60 yes. degrees yes it's so it, it, it's fairly even there might be some fluctuations especially the higher up you come but like we're trying to keep it at a uh, a flat eight foot depth and then you cover the pipes with soil yeah and then you have one end of the system um going into one end of the house and the other end of the pipe into the other end of the house a closed system and then you put a fan onto it and so it blows Ooh. uh warm air from into your house it goes through the piping and that air will get cooler or get to the temperature of 55 to 65 degrees somewhere in there yeah and then it'll come back in in that closed loop that we've created and uh, cool the air in how the summer how many feet altogether is that loop what they recommend at least 100 feet the more the better okay. i'm putting in approximately 150 to 175 feet oh okay yes. i bought four inch pv thin walled pvc piping i uh, uh at home depot they had a bunch that were damaged and they gave it to me 50 percent off so that was the cheapest oh, that's awesome. option for that's me that's awesome uh, it's still affordable even if it's because each 10 foot section of the four inch diameter PV, thin walled PVC piping was approximately $21 at Home Depot. Mm -hmm. And so you get, a pro I got approximately 150, somewhere between 150 and 175 feet. And uh, so it gets plenty of time when the air is pushed through the tubing by the fan in the house, plenty of time to acclimate to the temperature yeah. eight foot below. And uh, even in the winter, it, it should help with keeping it warmer in there too, Absolutely, I suppose. Absolutely, yes. Yes, and, and, and if anything, it's a supplement to your indoor heating. Right. Perhaps you have a wood stove or a pellet stove or some other heating type in the winter. At least this will take the air and and it'll maintain about 55 to 65 degrees, which will put less work on whatever mechanism you use to heat your home. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> all right, well, I'm gonna walk around here and show the pipe and all that, really cool. I wanted to mention that Carrie here still has her land in New Mexico for sale. It's a 10 acre parcel, um, not too far away from here. And you guys can go and check out my older video. Um, it, it has the links in the description of, of where it's at and all that stuff and what county it's in. It, it's still for sale. Very RV friendly. She had a bunch of people interested. A lot of people. But no real bites, yep. right? We had, I had a lot of nibbles, but no full bites. Yeah, yeah. So, there's that. All right, back to the production. Woo! <laughs> we got someone that fell in. <laughs> how how uh, cool does it feel down there? You can tell a little bit of a difference. Granted, the sun's out and it's warmer, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can tell I'm five foot tall, so I'm guessing this is eight, maybe nine feet. Yeah, Depth. yeah. <laughs> awesome. <Perfect. laughs> For this type of system, you want to go as deep as you possibly can. Yeah. All right. Nice and cool down there. You can tell a little difference, yeah. 
Yeah. All right, folks. So I got something insanely interesting for all the nerds out there that probably already know about it. But if you see that white line right there, yeah, that carries crumbling up there. That is called the caliche. Oh yeah. I think I, there's a superhero out there called Kalichi. <laughs> Kalichi is extremely difficult when a person just has a shovel to shovel through it. It's really hard. Yeah. I think some of the, what it's made out of, there might be some lime, limestone in it, but it's super, super hard to shovel it. The excavator went through no issue. Now and, is uh, that is that something that you can mix with water or something and then build a structure out of? Not sure. Mixing It'd be with hay. To research. I'm yeah. not sure. I just know it's extremely tough to shovel through when you're coming in from the like when you're digging a hole yeah. for a tree or plants. You know you look like an archaeologist down there. Just are you... <laughs> That's my true job. Yeah, you archaeologist. Tr you looking for bones and stuff? <laughs> yep, this is what it looks like. And it, it, here it's at about, I don't know, foot and a half, two foot level down yeah. into the clay sand. Yeah. Here. Yep. Awesome. And it, can, it can be at various depths, but here it just happens to be foot and a half, two feet down. Yeah. Well, there you have it, folks. If I had a rainbow graphic, I'd put it over right now. And it would say, the more you know. <laughs> All right.